Hello everyone. This is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes. And I have four completed journals that I want to share with you. I have been having some fun. Um, I kind of learned a new spin on an old technique and I've been making curved spine hollow back journals for a while now but here's a spin on it. I found Zoe Tofield and she's got tutorials on her channel that show how to make these textures on your hardcover books and then covering them with painted fabric. And so I had to have a play and I dug out some stencils and I used modeling paste. This one's just, you know, a, like a grass of three stems. Here is an all over, just a different angle pattern. And here's a fleur-de-lis stencil. Pretty simple, but looks nice. And here is a stencil from Tim Holtz that these are actually clocks. And so I've got like a steampunky thing going on here. And then I also made a frame to go around it and distressed crackled that. And I have these little Phillips screw head brads that I put for more hardware -y look. And I also used some different um, gilding waxes. I used a rose gold, bronze, and silver and with my black distress ink to try to make it aged and metal looking and just had some fun with it. And so that's a cool book. And then I put the little um, bands on the side too. And each of these are one and a half inch spines. They all have five signatures. This one is the smallest. It is eight and a half by five and five eighths. These are eight and three quarters by six. And this is the leather book plate that I got from Elaine Larkin that I used on this journal. So let's go in and take a look. These books are all available in my Etsy shop and the back of each book has my brass handmade plate that I put in with um, eyelet or brads and I drilled through the hardboard so they're attached. They're in there good. So, and I used different brown paints for this to achieve this look. And this is a digital I got from um, Deli Girl 1961. And I made a little library pocket and then I had an off cut of one of the embossed card stocks that I have made it into a pocket later and I used that with some brads to add some d dimension and here's a little um, clock face that I attached also and then inside the pocket I've got my business card but here's one of the dyed index cards I got from Didi Farago and then I did leave the back open for another pocket. And I've used um, Tim Holtz cardstock for the anchor pages of all five signatures. There's 180 pages. 
and here I have a side pocket and I used an embossing folder on some cardstock and then distressed it with vintage photo ink and just made a little notebook with some off cuts of some grungy coffee dyed paper. I figured the grungier the better. And I also am crossing the line a little bit. I left string ties on like everything. It's driving me crazy, but I'm trying it. I'm going for it. So there's a little notebook. And here I have just a little um, card that I embossed with another embossing folder and distressed a little bit for a journaling card. So they'll slip right in. And then I have my hand dyed coffee, coffee dyed papers and Here's a vintage ledger page. And this is a book page from an architectural book. Figured that was very fitting for the steampunky look. And this is from Rhodia dot grid paper. It's a real fine, um, beautiful finished vellum paper. And here I have copy dyed a piece of cardstock from a tattered time die cuts with a view. But I thought that was very fitting. I've used a five hole pamphlet stitched with wax cording. And the book lays nice and flat for easy journaling. And nice sturdy pages so that you can embellish them and make them your own. The second signature here I have another little pocket with another journaling card and strings. Another ledger page. And here is a music page that I got from Elaine Larkin from the um, Bach music book. And I left it long so that it flips out. Look at that beautiful aging on the page. It's just gorgeous. And the third signature, here I have another pocket of another embossed folder. I've got several embossing folders, so I just had some fun with them. And here I made a tag, left my strings, and I put an eyelet in, and then I threaded some chain through and threaded on a little sprocket. and an oversized jump ring to add to that metal look. And here I've got a grid pattern that I printed with my laser printer on some drawing paper. Here's a Greg shorthand page. And here's a French-English dictionary page and with all that beautiful natural aging. The center of this signature. It's all about the writing. I got a new microphone, so I'm hoping that um, you'll hear me better and I hope that I get used to it so that it doesn't pick up like all my breathing because I'm kind of self-conscious with it but 
let's give it a shot and see how it works. Here I've got another big side pocket with two more journaling, a card and a book. And on this one, I used my um, gilding waxes again to highlight the grunge on this embossing folder. And this one, I just made it into another little notebook. Here's a, a graph grid paper, and this is from an Ideals magazine. I tried to use a different book page and a different ledger page in each of the signatures to add interest. And the rest of the pages are all about the coffee dyed, beautiful journaling room. Here I have an, another little pocket. And this embossing folder, the off cut, is where I got this from to use this. So nothing went to waste. And here I've got another tag with the eyelet and chain and another little gear or sprocket that I hooked onto the jump ring. And this is a English German dictionary page. And here we've got the music page again. and the Ex Libres book plate on the back cover. So this is a distressed steampunk. This one is Fleur de Lis. And I used black, watered down black craft paint to paint this fabric. And this is a um, digital kit I got from Antique Papery, and I believe the name is Old French Charming. But I put a black library pocket in here with the library card and my business card. And I used um, number 10 in envelopes to make little flip out pockets. So this one flips over and this one flips over. And here I've got a big tag with strings. And in the little pocket is just a little book that I made with off cuts. And to get this, I just shrank down the papers and I printed them um, in five by three and a half. So this goes in this little pocket. And this is the German English dictionary page. the Rhodia paper, the music paper, in the center of this signature, antique papery, and
and I used Tim Holtz cardstock for the anchor pages here also. And here I have another little um, rendition of the envelope pockets. I did leave the back open. So there's one pocket, two pockets, three pockets. And this is a tag I made out of one of the pages. And another little booklet with different offcuts. And the Greg shorthand. Another one of the beautiful pages. And here I have another little pocket with the back is open. So there's three little pockets here. And this little booklet flips up with the different little off cuts. And here's an architecture book page. And I believe the back that I printed onto the book, um, the digital kit, I think this came from TLC Creates. I could be mistaken though, so not quite sure. I'll have to check. And here I have another little pocket with another little tag. Go in the back or in the pocket. Envelopes are so useful, aren't they? And another little booklet. Another ideals page. And on the last signature, I've got another flip out. So this pocket has the little booklet. I made lots of little books for this one. And the big tag. And it flips over for more room. Lots of journaling. And this is a German book page from 1869, all in that gothic print. It's just beautiful. And the aging, I did reinforce the fold with washi tape on both the outside and the inside just to make sure that it would be sturdy for inside the signature. And here I have the grid on the drawing paper again. 180 pages in the five signatures. It's a beautiful kit. The digitals are awesome. And she runs sales so often that it's very worthwhile to check it out. And here's an Ex Libres plate that I thought went well with the black. 
and this book is a hardcover book, but I did use heavy duty chipboard bookboard for this book. This first one, this is hardboard, but this one is a chipboard. And this one is journal, and I used a navy blue craft paint watered down for this. And this one is a chipboard also. The chipboard ones, they're lighter weight. They don't weigh as much as the hardboard. But I just love that leather book plate. Love it. But here inside this library pocket, got the card and the card. And I believe this is from Nick the Booksmith's this um, acrylic pour. And this kit is from Zoe Tofield, um, Razor Crafts. And this one is called Vintage Collage. And I made a little envelope pocket. And her kit came with six tags and I just backed them onto coffee dyed paper and left the threads. And then I used a vintage ledger to back it with for more journaling space. And Tim Holtz cardstock. And here on this side I glued a piece of lace and then I made a little um, pocket and I got this pocket from Figaro on Etsy and I left it open in the back so you can put something else in there. The beautiful music. is one of her digital pages. And behind this little faux envelope is another tag. And this just opens up and opens up for lots of journaling room. And this is just a little stamp I have that I put on cardstock and glued on the bottom so that it can stay closed for a little different kind of a pocket. French English dictionary page. And this is from her digital cat. I just love it. It's beautiful. Here I have a pocket going across and with more lace, another tag, and a little booklet that I made from emboss, an embossing folder. And I just used um, peeled paint, distress ink, and vintage photo to get this look. And it's bunch of offcuts, made a little booklet. Can't have enough journaling space. And an Ideals magazine page. And here's a tracing paper that's copy dyed. A 
another one of her digital images. I put one in the inside of every signature, so it's the center display. The other half of that Ideals magazine picture. Fun picnic with fried chicken. And here I have some more lace on the pocket and another tag. And this one is just a, a coffee dyed paper backed journaling card. And I used my brayer with the peeled paint on this to get this look. And then I use vintage photo around the edges with strings. And here we have another little pocket and this one opens up. And inside here is our tag. So we have more journaling space here. Greg Shorthand. Isn't that bright, pretty? Dragonflies and butterflies and feathers. And the last signature, I've got another flip out with another tag. Some more lace on the inside of the page. And this is from the um, architectural book. The beautiful digital. The colors pop so nicely with my laser printer rather than the inkjet, but I much prefer it. And here on the back page, I covered a little index card and did another embossing folder journaling card and use the brayer to get this effect also with the walnut stain and vintage photo with strings and the Ex Libres book plate and this one is journal and my last one this one is Meadow, and I used a campground green watered down acrylic paint to paint this. And this is a hard board. And I believe that this digital of um, the acrylic pour is from Nick the Booksmith also. And the digital images throughout the journal are also from Toei Zofield and they are her meadow wall watercolors. And this um, payroll time card is one of the um, time cards that I got from um, Dee Dee Farago. I thought that went well with this, these colors. So this is, yeah, it's um, Meadow Watercolors is what the name of the kit 
from Zoe Tofield or Razor Crafts. And this is also part of her kit. Makes beautiful center pages. And then I coffee dyed it after I printed it also. And it came with these little um, ATC type of cards and I coffee dyed those too and just attached them here and there and this is just a little cut off for more journaling space and here I made a lace pocket and I glued it on rather than sewed it on and then I also glued on some of the little green leaf trim and here we have one of the tags that came in the kit, coffee dyed. And the little envelope came in the kit too. And I made a little book to go in this little envelope. And the backing is from her kit also. It was quite a large one. You got a lot of goodies. And the French English dictionary page. Here's the center. And on this signature, I used one of her center um, pages, but I folded it into three and glued it on in like a horseshoe in three sides. So it has a pocket for a tag or whatever and lots of journaling space. And on this side, I have some lace that I stitched onto a um, Tim Holtz cardstock and put for a side pocket. And this tag, I have a muslin hinge. So it has lots of journaling space and a little booklet. And here I have another lace pocket with the little leaf trim and a little popsicle stick journaling card or it can be a bookmark, a tag, and an envelope. And this one, I don't have anything in it can put your goodies in it. And an Ideals magazine book page.
Oh, that's really pretty. Love those deep colors. And here I have another tall envelope pocket with a, a time card. And on this side, I left it open. So here's the little booklet. Or you can glue it shut or put something else in it. Here's a piece of tracing paper. And here's a little ATC card again with another little ledger page cut off. And with the Ex Libre's plate. And this is Meadow. And we have Journal, Fleur de Lis, and Distress Steampunk. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day.